Hey Bethel family, welcome to Kid Connect. Kid Connect. <laughs> you guys ready for that every time now? Time to get up in your face. We're so glad that you're here with us today. We, I'm, I just look forward to Kid Connect and connecting with you guys. Yeah, and for some of you, we're seeing you right after the Church on the Lawn. Yeah. So, uh, just a reminder, we're doing that. We're meeting back at the on the church property right. um, outside on the lawn. It was so much fun mm -hmm. uh, last week, it was. and I'm sure it was fun this morning because it starts at 9 a.m. and you're, we're showing you this is going live at 10:30. So, uh, you know, be sure to check that out. Um, find out all the information at GoBethelChurch.com. And now. For those of you that are watching, kids out there, parents, um, today what we wanted to do is we want to share two really big words, two, two really big <laughs> words for you and kind of explain in a very simple way what they mean. Yes. And those two big words, two big words how <laughs> are how many words? How many? <gasps> Three. No, I'm just kidding. It's two. Two big words is justification and sanctification yes. i'm sure if you spend any time in church or, or you know if you read a a a book or, on the bible or in commentaries different things you're going to hear those two words so we want to give you a very very easy simple uh uh explanation of what those mean and so you will be so smart so, smart. so if your kid's watching this you can walk up to your parents afterward and be like well i'm justified how are you <laughs> you know and uh and explain it to them it'd be really really cool okay so miss Kristen's gonna go first i got the first one and the first one is justification and sometimes we see these words in the bible and we kind of just glaze over them because we're like whoa that's a big word not even gonna touch it. But we wanna to explain to you because these are very important words. And justification means to be made right with God. Pretty simple explanation for a big word, right? When we are saved, we are immediately made right with God. Let me read you this verse from 2 Corinthians 5, 21. And it says, for God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin, remember when Jesus died on the cross, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. So that's why Jesus died on the cross, was because immediately when we ask him into our lives, we are forgiven and we are made right with God. Yeah, and that, that's what, when you see, you know, we're like, well, I don't remember seeing those words exactly in the Bible. It's these, people have taken all of this stuff and added these you know they're like this is what we're calling this and that's yes. the being made right part so do you want to show the yeah let's see we've got this rag here it's kind of you can get see it that? Nice and it's nice and uh dirty right we did some cleaning and you know got some of our that dirt. was all just out of pastor anthony's hair yeah yeah i just went oh, like this gross. no <laughs> No. So yeah, we so we did some cleaning and you know, you get all this dirt all over the place. And then let's just say that this is our life. Sin, right? This yeah. is sin in our lives. Dirty. Cannot be near God. And when we ask God into our lives, what happens? Immediately we are made clean. See clean. Nice and clean. Before no God's eyes, yeah. We yeah. are justified that yes. we can now come into his presence. Yep. Uh, and be a part. Now, the second word, can you say second, number two? So justification just means it's right there in the word you're, that you are right, made right just, before God, that you yeah. can be in his presence, that you are made clean. Right. So, you know, justification is I am right before God. Now, sanctification is, now how many of you know when you have something really dirty like this, it doesn't just become clean? right? You have to do something. You have to, well, you know, for the objects that were dirty in the house, <laughs> we wiped it with this and it yeah. made that, you know, it made the objects clean. Now for that, we'll have to put in the washing machine, you know, for how many of you ever had like grass stains? You were yeah. outside playing and got rolling in the dirt and stuff <laughs> and you got grass stains on your pants. And sometimes, you know, maybe your mom or your dad, or maybe you, maybe you're old enough that you're doing it too. Maybe you have to pre-soak them or you get one of those tied to go pens and you, you <laughs> dab it on there and then you put it in the washing machine right so just because we're made right before God we go from dirty 
to clean before his eyes, you know, that, that we can now enter into his presence without the stain of sin on us, you know, from, from this world. Uh, sanctification is, is the process, yes. right? It's the, it's the everyday process. It's the part that we say, I'm going to be more like, like Christian. Yes. What does it mean? What does that word mean? It means Christ-like. We're just trying to be more and more like Jesus every day. Right. And so, you know, part of this, maybe you have a really bad temper. Even though we can now enter into God's presence clean, that doesn't necessarily mean you're never going to get angry again. Yeah. Or uh, in the uh, on Wednesday when we're doing the family devotion, Michael goes, I'm not patient. <laughs> yes. I'm never patient. <laughs> Right, but that's that's part of the fruit of the spirit. Is is we don't become like this perfect, awesome, clean, do everything right person like this. We right. it's it's not like oh now we never sin. Never. I am perfect. I've asked God into my life. I am justified, and now I am perfect. <laughs> it's far from it. It's an everyday process of of doing more and more, and and God kind of works on us if we're open to it, you know. And it when you say when we say work on you, like. It means maybe you get, maybe you need to work on patience, you get stuck in lines or you have to wait for, you know, someone to finish something before you get that and you get in those positions and God helps us and we work on different areas of our life every single day so that we look for that fruit to come out, the okay. love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Um, and that's what sanctified is. It's the process. It's the journey of becoming as close to clean as we can get because the reality is we're human we're gonna mess up we're never gonna be perfect you know outside of the day that we are with god That's for it. eternity um that is when the the sin and the temptation and that stuff will go away and we'll just be able to be in god's presence with how he originally intended it to be to be one with him and and to just be in that perfection, um, you know? And so we don't have to, it's so great because justification means, hey, I can have a relationship Yay. with my creator. And sanctification is, hey, I don't have to be perfect to be in front of my creator. <laughs> yeah. I just have to be, you know, I'm working toward being more and more like that so that I right. am loving and caring and, and compassionate and kind and have self-control and all of those, all of those things. Mm -hmm. That's right. So two big words. You just learned two big words. And they mean two huge things, like two huge things. They do. But the explanation is so simple. They're very simple, <laughs> you know, with which a lot of things mm -hmm. can be, you know, um, when it comes to having a relationship with God. That's it's true. People make it more complicated than it is. Um, and we just have to, you know, talk with God, spend time, and mm -hmm. there we go. Yeah. Speaking of talking with God. Yes, I would love to. <laughs> Let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you so much for just giving us your word so we can learn about these things and learn how to be closer to you and become more like you. And we just pray, we just thank you for sending your son to allow us to be justified in your presence and to be sanctified, Lord. And we just thank you for sending your son. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. And we just pray that we will work at this every single day, that we will just allow that process of getting to know you more to become an everyday routine. Um, and we just love you and we thank you in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. So every, every weeknight, Monday through Friday, we put up a family devotion. So if you're not doing that, kids, go bug your parents. Say, hey, show us how to spend time with God. Let's do this <laughs> as a family. Grab them, throw a pillow at them. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, parents, these are resources for you. So every night, 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. Wednesdays is like a live one that they do without me. It's They do Sorry. it with some big blue guy. Um, uh, check that out. And then I've got a question for you before we go, yes. Miss Kristen. So last Sunday, the first Sunday that they did Church on the Lawn, you were passing out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look, Pastor Mike's calling me. <laughs> Hi, Pastor Mike. I'm going to call you right back. But this is tomorrow. It's like back to the future. Um, so uh, last week, you gave out little baggies with activity sheets and crayons mm -hmm. and all sorts of different stuff. Snacks. Uh, snacks on, for church on the lawn. Mm -hmm. um, and it was goldfish. It was goldfish. This Today, you know, Sunday, whatever day it is. <laughs> this is a calendar. Um <laughs> I know there was like some water and gummy, fruit gummy snacks. fruit snacks. Thank yes. you. That's what it's called. <laughs> now I'm curious, what will it be next week? I don't 
Well, got any guesses? You just put them in the comments. Pizza. That would be cool. Oh, that might I mean, be, that'd be a little the hard to put in the <laughs> in the bags, but <laughs> Pastor Mike really needs to talk to me. So I'm gonna go answer the phone. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.